Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna talk about this airway device right here, the flexible stylet. Now, a lot of people don't think about this as an airway device, but it's a tool just like any other, and you need to know how to use it effectively if you wanna have good first pass success when you're doing uh, laryngoscopy. So, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you can see that it's about the same length as an endotracheal tube, but you'll notice actually that it's a little bit longer, in fact, and so one of the first uh, errors that many people make is when they're inserting this is pushing this all the way down like this. They think, oh, it must be designed to fit all the way in and you just push it down like this. Well, this is actually a mistake for a couple of reasons. One, this doesn't give you any room on the proximal end to, to be able to pull this out when you need to uh, using the technique we're gonna show you and I'll get into that a little bit later. But more importantly, on this end, what you find is that the, the tube uh, is actually longer than the stylet, and now you can see the stylet is sticking out of the tube, and this can actually hang up on structures in the oropharynx and cause damage to your patient. So you never want this to happen. So the first thing you're gonna do whenever you take one of these devices and you put it inside a tube, when you're shaping it for uh, optimal first pass success, is you're gonna get this distal tip right about a half to three quarters of the way down to the balloon, uh, and that's about as far as you need it to go. And then you're gonna take this proximal end and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna bend it towards you like this, okay? So that's what it looks like, okay? It's gonna be bent like this. And then now this does a couple of things, right? This is gonna allow you to use your thumb to pop up and remove and soften the tube, but it's also gonna keep this from going too far down. This is gonna be basically a stopper that will keep this from going all the way through the, the distal end of the tube. So once you have that done, you're now gonna go ahead and move to this part of the stylet that's just uh, into the cuff here. And right at the start of the cuff, you're gonna bend it away from you 30 degrees. So that's the shape that I want you to get. You're gonna have this what we call straight to cuff format where it's straight all the way here until it gets to the proximal end of the cuff and then it goes 30 degrees in this hockey shape format. That's what it looks like, okay? So uh, go ahead and practice that a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to how you use this to intubate.